Hi guys, it's Josh Lloyd here. I'm just going to show you a bit how here how to use the draft tracker on Basketball Monster. We are going to do a mock draft on Yahoo. Um, you can do it for mock drafts. You can do it for regular drafts, snake drafts, salary cap slash auction drafts, uh, points league, category leagues, whatever categories you want. You can set all that up. And I did the video the other day how to set up Basketball Monster, showing you how to do your points leagues, how to do category leagues how to change all your settings. And now I'm going to show you how to use the draft tracker and how to get all that set up. So the first thing I want to do on Basketball Monster is go to settings, league settings, and create a new league. So I just push the add league button there. We're going to be doing today's one on Yahoo. It is a lot more clunky to do it on ESPN um, because of the way they've restricted access to the site and you can't actually access the information. So that makes it really hard in the, in the drafts to do it on ESPN. Anyway, Yahoo and Fantrax are superior platforms. With Yahoo and Fantrax, it's literally just you know, a few clicks of buttons to get things to work. So our provider is Yahoo. So I'm going to go over to the Yahoo page, join the next available draft. And let's see what that is. It's a 14 team league. We've got a minute to go until that draft uh, kicks off. And then when that does, I will show you how the uh, how, how the next part of things uh, are set up for us to uh, to get it to work on uh, on the draft tracker. All right, uh, so we're ready to go here with the draft. Now, as you can see up the top here, there's a, a number, and that is our draft number. So I copy that number, bring it over to League Settings, put it in the League ID, save save settings, click Import Settings there, and that'll bring everything across. I'm always going to be punting turnovers in a draft, so we'll go and uh, bring that across. The next thing I want to do is go into the uh, into the draft tracker. All right, so we come across there into the draft tracker. The draft tracker is up in the members column where you can see everything, projections, projected standings, all the different tools that we've got. We've just also released the daily tools. Um, go to the draft tracker, uh, ta uh, click there, and that's where you're brought into this one. Now, I haven't shown you our projected stats because yeah, you have to be a member to see all this stuff. but. This is how it looks. You have this section here, edit display columns. You can have a look at everything that you want to change. So you can add the stats in there, you know, how many uh, quality games, end of week games, um, dynamic value is something I think we should be ticked as well. I'm going to take balance off. I don't normally like looking at that. If you're in an auction, you push the dollars and that comes up and you've got all the different ADP type things we can take a look at there. So let's uh, hide that one again. Um, and then we go down to the bottom of the screen. You see all the players here. Yeah, this is you know, projections for eight category leagues. You can see the difference between um, the, the punt category, which I had was turnovers there and how uh, how that yeah, differs. And that's the, the value for, say, James Harden there at number one versus what his value is, including turnovers. And you see that the difference it's gained. And this is why I do punt turnovers. So look, at this, all the good players are so much better without turnovers. So just really, I just, yeah, I'm not going to get into that too much here in this one, but this is just showing you how Draft Tracker works. Now, we've got this Yahoo League ID here. So I'm going to paste that number in again, and I'm going to push Open Draft, and that'll get it connected to Yahoo. I'm picking number nine. So I'm going to type number nine in there in that box. And that'll tell me like what pick numbers I have and how far away I am from each pick. So there I am, 9, 20, 37, all that sort of stuff. Up here, you've got the categorical scarcity. You see how all your teams shape up. Now the draft has started and uh, we're, we're ready to go here. Over on that draft, you can see we're, we're 25 seconds in. So after that first pick is made, I'll go back to Draft Tracker and I'll show you what happens. Just waiting for whoever this first person is in the mock to actually the machine. Come on, the machine, make a pick. He's, uh, he's making a selection. When that happens, I'll, I'll go back and show you. So it's a matter of just flicking between these screens during your draft. But that's how quick it is to set it up on uh, set up your draft tracker on Basketball Monster. You just put those codes in. You, have, you can have those other things like the display columns ready to go. Okay, so two picks are off the board. So I'm going to push refresh from Yahoo here. And you'll see Harden's name disappear from that list. And Doncic's name will disappear as well. So they're not available anymore. They go to other teams. Now, I haven't made a pick yet. So you can't see what's happening with my pick. Giannis goes at number three there. Um, but when it comes down to my pick, yeah, it'll show you who's available. The dynamic value takes into consideration um, scarcity of stats and to how that player's value, positional value. Yeah, is that position coming off the board quick? And that gives you some you know, idea of you know, what guys you might need to grab at that spot. So we click back over the draft. Anthony Davis is gone. I'll just click the refresh again, and it will take Davis off that list there for us. Giannis is gone. So now we've, these are the bunch of guys who are available. And also tells me there's four picks until my turn. So go back on to, to Yahoo. And it's, again, it's just a matter of flicking back and forward to seeing where 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 if someone took Russell Westbrook at five. So someone's obviously smoking crack at this point in the day. Trey Young goes at six. We're two picks away. Let's click refresh from Yahoo. Anytime I see a crazy pick go down, it's better for me picking in pick nine uh, for someone else to come into that area uh, and, and a good player to fall to me. So I am going to get a good player here. Steph or Carl Anthony Towns, they're both on the board. Um, Damian Lewis. I'm going to get one of Steph, Towns or Lillard at pick nine, which is a huge result. So Steph's gone at seven. 
Um, I'll wait for DPN to make his pick, and then uh, I'll... Uh, okay, this is my pick. So, refresh from Yahoo. Uh, all the picks are off the board. So my turn to pick. It tells me right there. And the best available player, according to my projections, is Carl Anthony Towns, or I could take Damian Lillard. So let's go over here onto Yahoo and select Carl Anthony Towns. Draft Townsy. Go back onto Draft Tracker. Push refresh from Yahoo. You'll see Towns come off the board. And then he comes up onto my team here. And then it gives you an idea like what categories I'm strongest in. And then there's two summaries down here. Summary versus drafted, which shows how I compare in each of those categories compared to the players who have already been drafted. And then summary versus top players is showing how, if my team just consisted of Carl Anthony Towns on an average per game basis, how I would look against a standard pool of 170 odd players. And that's yeah, what that number is. And as the draft goes on, that summary versus top players will come down and the summary versus drafted will adjust because as more players get added to your team, you won't be as strong in each of these categories. So I'm sort of looking at both of those, the summary versus top players and the summary versus drafted to understand where I am currently against the guys I'm against and uh, currently versus how I look as the league as a whole. And then I'm also looking at scarcity, what categories are coming off the board. Points and assists, really tough to get. So if I want to be competitive in those categories, and I drafted Carl Anthony Towns, so I'm already behind the eight ball with assists, maybe I just forego assists already and I concentrate on some of these numbers. We are about to head into round two of this draft. It is a 14-man league. So once we get into round two, I'll show you what else happens over on Draft Tracker. All right, so we're into round two. So let's push refresh from Yahoo and you'll see a projected standings come up now. They're all the teams and it's you get your head-to-head -head win percentage here based on the players that you drafted in round one. Yeah, we've got formulas to work this out and then also how you match up against everyone. So I would be you know, currently fourth considering I picked ninth, that's not bad, but I'd also be losing head-to-head -head against yeah, pretty much all of those other top teams. But then that's how I build the rest of my squad out. Now, if we're looking at, uh, you can go back to this, so it's almost my pick again, maybe I'll make a second selection. But what you can do as well, you can use this manually. You'll see these two little boxes here. There's a column that says my, and there's a blank column. If you want to um, assign a player to your team, you click the my column. If you want to say someone else has been drafted by another team, you click that other button. So this is if you're doing an offline draft and then you just hit refresh and those players will be distributed and you'll see that you know I added Kyrie to my team and those other guys are off the board. So now my team has two players and that's how yeah, those guys compare and how all the numbers look together and how all the values look in those columns. Um, you, you can do a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, you can import from team players, which is another function we have in the settings menu, team players, where you can manually assign players to every team, which you're doing, if you're doing a slow draft that doesn't have import function or it's an in-person draft, you can manually go through and if, go into the team players tab here. Well, it doesn't have, uh, I got to, let me import the Yahoo League there. It might not do it because it's a mock draft, but we'll see. But it will bring up lots of different teams here. Yeah. So if I wanted to go to Dave's team and add Leangelo Ball, I will, and then he'll appear on Dave's team there. So you can automatically just assign players and then you can go back into Draft Tracker and you can have a look and you can do that uh, import uh, import from team players situation. So it'll bring uh, the Angelo ball across, but it'll take away the everyone else because it's not connecting to the draft. Now, if I go back and push refresh from Yahoo, it'll change that back around again and bring the, the players in. So I auto drafted Bam while I was talking to you, but that's how everything uh, looks on the old Draft Tracker. So... Again, really, it's it's a fantastic way to go through your draft to know where you're sitting currently in the draft, how your team looks, what stats are available, who everyone else is, or how they're tracking, how they're looking. You know that when I'm doing mock drafts, this is what I'm looking at. When I'm doing real drafts, this is what I'm looking at. And I think it is a good, a great way, in fact, to have some you know, some real big success in your fantasy basketball league. If you have any other questions about the draft tracker, it's something I didn't cover, drop it in the comments down below. Um, you can tweet it at me as well, at redrock underscore Beeble. Um, sign up, become a member at Basketball Monster as well. I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, see ya.